Hi, grade six. Tonight I am making a video that hopefully you'll see uh, when you go to our Google Classroom tomorrow. This video is about how to use Google Calendar to help organize yourself for your work for your classes. So I'm going to show you two things tonight. I'm going to show you how to um, add a Google Classroom class to your calendar so that you can see all the assignments in your calendar. And the second thing I'll show you is how to create a new event in your calendar and go ahead and add assignments yourself. Um, I'm first going to start with Google Classroom. I will have the student view open for you um, so that you can see what that whole process looks like. So um, I'm first going to present my screen. And once my screen is presenting, I'll head on over to Google Calendar. And when I'm trying to access Google Calendar, I do need to use these Google Apps here. And I have accessed this through a student account, so you can see the student view. Um, I've accessed Google Calendar here in the middle of your apps. When I click on it, however, it looks blank at first. I would like to add a class to it so that I can see all of my class assignments pop up on the calendar. That is possible. So I'm going to navigate to Google Classroom now and it should open up in a new tab for you. And I'm going to navigate to my own class through the student's view. I end up with the stream, but I always like to remind students to go to the classwork tab. And I don't know if you've guessed it yet, but you are going to navigate to Google Calendar and click that button at the top of your classwork tab. When I click that button, it opens up a new tab and when I open up that new tab, it asks me if I would like to add the calendar from that Google Classroom. And I'm going to click Add. And when I do that, all of my assignments magically show up um, from my own uh, class. So this is our English class, and these are all the assignments that have been due um, the past week and a little bit of this week. So you can see that all on your Google Calendar. You can view this in a few different ways once your assignments are on there. Um, and right now I'm in the month view and I can also go into the week view. This might be helpful for some of you. Um, I can uh, go into the day view as well and just see what's due that day. So you just need to change your um, view up here where my mouse is right now. I'm going to go back in the month view, however. Um, to show you how to add your own event. So if you do have a teacher who does not have Google Classroom, that's okay. Um, you can still track your assignments using Google Calendar. If you have an assignment due, let's say the 25th of March, you're going to click on a Google Calendar uh, box, a square for the date, and that's it. You just click once, and then you can add um, an assignment here. Say you were adding math week one, or you could add something like science week one, um, and you could add a little bit of a description if you'd like to, um, and a time that it might be due, okay? And then you would click save. I'm not going to save this event because it's not a real one. So I'm going to discard. Um, one last thing I'd like to show you with um, Google Calendar that's really excellent. Um, is that you can uh, print out your assignments from your Google Calendar um, if you'd prefer to have them on paper instead of digitally. Um, and if that works better for you, you can print out individual assignments by clicking on them and clicking Options. And when I click Options on this individual assignment, um, I can click Print. That opens up in a new tab for me and I can see here the time that it's due, I can see the description, and I even have a place for my own notes. Now, if you would like to print out your assignments for the entire month, you can actually access that through clicking this gear, the settings menu up here, and you can press the print button. What that does is it gives you all of your assignments in one month. Okay, um, and that might be nice for some of you if you just want to see all of your classes in one place and all of your assignments in one place. Okay, um, I am going to click cancel. I'm not going to print this right now. Um, th that is the uh, summary of how to use Google Calendar.
And I hope that this will help some of you remain organized as you go through virtual learning. And I hope that you can use this skill for the rest of your life. Okay, I will see you soon. Sixth grade, I'm going to stop the video now. See you in the next one.